What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to manually create ductwork. Okay, so last video, we created a ductwork for our secondary supply air system. So we created it automatically. So this time around, in this exercise, we're going to modify an existing ductwork and then uh, we're going to use connect into to connect components to the existing air systems. And then we're also going to convert a rigid duct into a specified length of flex duct. Okay, so let's do this. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do, let me just drag this uh, color fill legend just beside in this room that we have here. This room uh, space instruction 115. Okay, so that is our instruction 115. So this is where we're going to place our or create our ductwork. So as you can see, we already have the equipment here and then the air terminals. This is also the exercise that we did last time, if you remember. Okay, so let me just hide first the section here. So right click the section, uh, hide in view category so that it will hide all the section in this view. Okay, and also notice that the tag family here cannot be read uh, properly. So I'm going to select this tag. So let me show you how to edit that family. Just click Edit Family. And then uh, we're just going to move this parameter here. Nudge it below. And then let's load it again to the project. Override the existing version. And there you go. All right, so we have here 360, 360, 450, 330. So the total is uh, around 1470. Okay, so 1470. Okay, so let us now create some ductwork. So we're going to start it here on our equipment. So I'm going to select this equipment. Okay, so as you select the equipment, you will notice that there are some uh, symbols for our duct here if you want to create a duct so this symbol is like a return duct so this one is a supply duct okay so I'm going to create a supply duct for our uh, from our uh, equipment so to do that you can just click that icon to create the duct or you can right click on that uh, node just right click and then select create duct Okay, just cancel this one. There you go. Okay, so there's now our duct. So this duct, let me check the property. So it's a mitered elbow stops type of uh, duct. So I'm going to change this one. So instead of mitered elbow stops, so I'm going to make it a beveled, uh, beveled tops. So mitered elbows, uh, beveled tops. And then, if you're using a lower version of Revit, you can press the space bar twice or just press the space bar once to make the new duct match the equipment duct size and location. Okay, you can press the space bar. Well, anyway, so I'm going to click here midway these two uh, lighting fixtures somewhere here. So I'm going to pick there and then I'm going to pick all the way somewhere here and then I select modify and notice straight away our uh, color scheme legend here updates so right now it says 0 CFM but that's alright okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to create a branch duct lines Okay, so to do that, again, same procedure just like what we did here. So let's say I'm going to click this um, diffuser, right-click that node, and then create duct. Okay. So note that when creating or drawing duct, so you can use the connector grip to quickly and accurately locate a connector. Okay. And for the type, by the way, so we are going to use here taps this time. So my third elbow stops. Okay, so let's click that one and then let's change the height here. So instead of this height, so I'm going to type here 9 space 
10 space 1 half. So since our current unit is in feet, Revit will read it as 9 feet 10 and 1 half inch. So if I press enter, so that's the unit. So 9 feet 10 and 1 half inch. Okay, and the software accounts for the difference in height from the diffuser connector to the specified offset height. So I'm now going to click the end or the intersection here. So I'm going to click that one to create my duct. Okay, and then I just select here, modify. Okay, so as you can see, it's now starting to populate our color scheme legend here. Okay. And next, aside from doing that to create your doc, so one useful tool that you can use is connect into. So the connect into tool is used to add or connect components to an existing air system. So note uh, that you can also use this when connecting your uh, plumbing fixtures to a pipe. So aside from connecting your air terminals to a dock, so you can also do it there. So I'm going to select this um, air terminal and then from there, there's a layout panel so you can see connect into. It creates a physical connection between a selected component and a duct or pipe. So I'm going to select this one and then after that, you can now click your main duct here and then Revit will connect that automatically. Okay, and then I'll just select here. Modify. So what I'm going to do is, from the project browser, let me just go to my views here. Let me see my MEP design view, 3D views, uh, level 1, 3D MEP. Okay, just zoom out. Okay, so I click this view here and then select uh, tile view so I can see it side by side. Let me just close this family. Okay, and then tile again. There you go. Okay, All right. Okay, All right. So you will notice by using connect into the ductwork is automatically created and is sized appropriately for the next size of the diffuser. And you can also notice here or check out that the color field indicates the flow value. Because this branch has two endpoints, the diffuser and the connector into the main duct, it is considered a closed loop. Okay? Right, so let's uh, finish up this one. So using connect into. So let's select that one, connect into, click this. Okay, so select, connect into, click. There you go. Right. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is um, let's convert duct to flex duct. So how to do that? Again, uh, from our floor plan, by the way, we can also do that here in the 3D view. So let me just show you. So I go to the systems tab and then look for uh, convert to flex duct. So the shortcut is CB. Okay, so I select this one and then let's select our air terminal. So you click that. So it will now convert that. Uh, dock to a flexible dock. There you go. And then I'll just select here modify. Okay, so now the next thing that we are going to do is um, let's uh, branch our or let's place an end cup. Okay, so let's put an end cup because this is an open. So I'm going to open dock. So I'm going to select this one and then just click cap open ends. Just click that one. There you go. So there's now our end cap. Okay. All right. Now the next part is let me split and size our main duct. So to split that, so let me just go to the modify, click the split element here, and then I'm going to click somewhere here to split that duct and then select modify. So it's now split. Okay. And then let us uh, resize our ductwork. So to do that, I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the main duct and then press tab. And then it highlights now our main duct. So I'm going to click to select it. And then after that, you can uh, select now here duct pipe sizing. So let's click that one. 
and then again so we are on the duck sizing so you can specify the sizing method that you want here so i'm going to use the default uh, value same method or i mean same value that we have used last time but this time i want also to include the velocity here so last time we only use friction only so this time i use friction and velocity and i want to restrict the height so i'm going to select that one so this height constraint is used when you place duct in a restricted space such as a plenum so i want to restrict that to 16 uh, inches okay so that's it so just select okay here and let's wait there you go so it's now resized properly and then you can verify the duct sizing so you can go to the properties and for this um, duct here so you can click that and then you can verify the value here on our properties that it shows you here the flow okay the total uh, flow value is 1470 for that duct and if I'm gonna select this duct as well if I select this notice that the flow there is 780 because of this two here so 450 plus 37 uh, 330 it's uh, 780 okay right so that's it it's a very simple exercise but this is very useful for you guys to be able to do your manual uh, creating of ductwork okay so that's it for this exercise in our next video we are going to design a mechanical piping system okay so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.